Asus ROG Zephyrus is an entirely new breed of gaming laptop. It packs in the most powerful laptop graphics hardware on the market, NVIDIA's GTX 1080, in a frame that's almost half the size of similar machines. That does lead to some compromises, especially around battery life, but it's still a wonder to behold. The Zephyrus, which is part of Asus's Republic of Gamers brand, is one of the first laptops to feature NVIDIA's Max-Q design standard. Basically, it's a way to slim down machines that feature beefy graphics cards, while also making sure that all their hardware is properly cooled. From afar, the Zephyrus looks surprisingly thin at 17.9mm thick. You won't mistake it for an ultra portable like the MacBook or Asus's ZenBook, but it also doesn't betray itself as a completely decked out gaming laptop like Dell's Alienware lineup. It clocks in at 4.93 pounds, 3 pounds lighter than the Razer Blade Pro, which itself was considered lightweight for a gaming machine. When it's closed, the Zephyrus features one of the most subtle designs we've seen from Asus. The only elements that really stand out are its polished metal lid and copper vents, but otherwise it doesn't really call attention to itself. Open it up though, and the laptop's gaming DNA becomes clear. The bottom rear of the Zephyrus expands as you open it, creating a noticeable gap that lifts the screen up at an angle and allows for better air intake. Cool air comes in from below, while hot air is exhausted through vents on the sides. Asus has developed thinner and stronger fan blades made out of a new polymer to push air throughout the system. While it's plugged in, that open area in the back also rocks in red lighting. The laptop feels sturdy overall, though I could see potential problems with its expanding bottom half. All it takes is one fall from a desk or one spilled drink to throw a wrench into Asus's meticulous cooling design. The Zephyrus's 15.6 inch 1080p screen doesn't seem particularly impressive at first, especially when other gaming laptops include 4K displays these days, but its 120Hz refresh rate and support for Nvidia's G-Sync technology should be appealing to gamers. That allows for smooth play no matter what frame rate you're getting. The Zephyrus's display shined when playing colorful, fast-paced games like Overwatch and Doom. It's clear that Asus wanted to focus on speed instead of pixel count, but it would have been nice to see a slightly higher resolution to take advantage of the laptop's bountiful horsepower. 4K would have been nice, especially since the Zephyrus can actually play games at such a high resolution, but even 1440p would have been a decent compromise. Unlike most other laptops, Asus pushed the Zephyrus's keyboard and trackpad all the way to its front edge. That allowed the company to place all of its high-powered hardware towards the back of the case, so it could be cooled all at once. It took me a while to get used to the Zephyrus's strange keyboard orientation, and even longer to adjust its trackpad, which sits to the right of the keys instead of below it. The keyboard is comfortable to type on, even though the keys have a very short travel distance. Not surprisingly, it was better suited to gaming than typing. Moving around first-person shooters using the WASD keys felt just as responsive as my desktop keyboard. There's also an array of LEDs behind every key, which you can customize using an app. Asus also bundles a comfortable wrist rest in the box, which is useful if you're worried about repetitive stress injuries. While the trackpad placement is a bit strange, we've seen similar laptops like the Razer Blade Pro place it on the right side as well. When it comes to games, I actually found that more useful than a typical trackpad, since it almost mimics the feeling of using a mouse. It's surprisingly smooth and responsive. In many ways, it felt more accurate than a standard trackpad. Obviously, it's not something you'd use for an FPS, but it gives you a way to play slower paced games in areas where you can't fit a gaming mouse. You can also transform it into a virtual number pad by hitting the key right above it, which some gamers might appreciate for hitting hotkeys. It wasn't as accurate as having a physical number pad, but it felt more convenient than just relying on the standard top keys. Under the hood, our Zephyrus review unit featured an Intel Core i7-7700HQ processor running at 2.8GHz, along with 16GB of RAM. But of course, the star of the show is NVIDIA's GTX 1080 GPU. Just a year ago, the idea of cramming that GPU into a laptop was impressive. Now we can do it in gaming notebooks that are slimmer than we've ever seen before. This isn't a stripped down version of the GTX 1080 either, it's still clocked at 1.5 to 1.7 GHz, and it packs in 8 GB of GDDR5X RAM. But instead of focusing on getting as much performance from the video card as possible, NVIDIA's Max-Q philosophy emphasizes peak efficiency, basically the point where you can get the most bang for your GPU buck. Our unit also featured a 512GB M.2 SSD, which is significantly faster than the older SATA variety. The Zephyrus is a bounty port-wise, with four USB 3.1 connections, a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, a full-sized HDMI connection, and a headphone jack. And since the laptop is too thin for a full-size Ethernet port, Asus also includes a USB converter in the box. Your first impressions of the Zephyrus will depend on the type of computer you're most used to. If you mainly dabble in ultra portables, you'll likely be intimidated by how large it seems. But if you're familiar with gaming laptops, it'll seem remarkably slim. As soon as I was done marveling at its engineering feat, I installed several games to test out its capabilities, and the results were impressive. 
I saw around 100 to 110 frames per second in Overwatch with all the graphics settings set to maximum. That was particularly impressive since I set the render scale to 140%, which made the computer process the game at a higher resolution than 1080p for a sharper image. Doom meanwhile hit its 200 FPS cap with everything maxed out at 1080p, while Hitman's benchmark achieved a solid 100 FPS. Clearly, the Zephyrus is hardware's overkill for 1080p, but that also makes it ideal for playing games on external monitors and TVs. It hit around 45 FPS on average in Hitman, while running in 4K in high settings. The Zephyrus basically takes the place of both a gaming desktop and a home console. Hooking it up to my 4K TV and receiver over HDMI was a cinch. Playing The Witcher 3 in 4K felt no different than a console once I plugged in an Xbox One controller and hopped into Steam's big picture mode. And given just how powerful it is, the Zephyrus had no trouble handling VR with the Oculus Rift. Its specs are well above the minimum requirements for VR, so that's not a huge surprise. Just be prepared to use up almost all of its USB ports for VR. As a productivity machine, the Zephyrus was fine for my daily workflow. I was even able to get some work done while balancing it on my lap. Its biggest downside, unfortunately, is battery life. In our test, which involves looping an HD video, the Zephyrus lasted just 1 hour and 50 minutes. And while gaming, expect between an hour and 90 minutes of play. The terrible battery life is a shame, but it makes sense given how thin and powerful this computer is. You can't do that without making trade-offs. You'll want to keep the Zephyrus plugged in for the best performance anyway. On battery, Overwatch was locked at around 30 FPS. As soon as I plugged in power though, it skyrocketed to 110 FPS. The Zephyrus we tested starts at $26.99, but there's also a slightly cheaper model with a GTX 1070 and a 256GB SSD for $22.99. That's a bit cheaper than the $3000 Acer Predator 700, which also sports a max key design and features the GTX 1080. If you want this combination of portability and power, be prepared to pay dearly. Otherwise, you'll just have to make do with heavier gaming laptops from the likes of Alienware. Razer's Blade Stealth is another option, since you can add the company's core dock to use an external GPU. No matter how you look at it, the Asus ROG Zephyrus is remarkable. It marks a new era for gaming laptops, one where you can expect a thin, 5-pound notebook to pack as much power as an 8-10-pound to machine from a few years ago. And since you can easily set it up with your TV, it could conceivably be the answer to all of your gaming needs. It's a shame that the battery life stinks, but that's a decent compromise for a laptop unlike any other.